Alrighty. So, let's start with this. So basically when you want to desolder, obviously you need a soldering iron, duh. And uh, you can use either a uh, wick, something like that. Or I prefer to use a soldering pump, something like this. So basically you get this out of the way for now. So something like that. And you basically push that plunger and then you heat up the solder underneath the board with your soldering iron and then you hold the, the pump right next to it. And when you see the solder starting to pool, basically becoming liquid again, you push that little button here and the suction's gonna suck the, the solder out of the hole that's in the board. You might have to do it two, three times to get it all out and basically one once all the solder is out then you just do your other leg do the same thing and then just keep it hot and then you'll be able to just pull it out with your fingers so yeah sometimes it can be difficult because it's in tight spots Let's just start this. So my two uh, capacitors I need to replace, they're named C209 and C210. So when I flip the board over like this, I look for the same numbers. I see C209 right here. So I'm gonna desolder these two contacts. positive side right here just hold it really close and there we go so just keep doing this came out just keep doing this maybe I don't know, like two three times just make sure you don't desolder anything else. It's kind of tricky sometimes. kind of see the hole but if I heat it up it'll be able to go out so just do the other one That's pretty much it for that one. Just test it. I feel it's a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. I can touch it with my fingers. Just be careful when you uh, when you do that. Sometimes if you uh, if you keep it on there too long, it'll get really hot. So just watch your fingers. All right now, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more. And uh, just so I can get the legs out.
might need a pair of pliers to straighten the legs out a little bit because they're a bit crooked. I don't have the I don't have my specific tool for this here. That's kind of big, but yeah, that's way too big. All right, just one sec. Okay. So I got the legs straightened up a little bit, so it will be easier to uh, get out of the holes. So just heat it up a little more. So let the solder get liquid and you can pull the leg out of the hole. Do a little bit at a time. There we go. That's it. So I got one out. So this one's a 25 volt, 470 um, microfarads, 105 degrees Celsius. So uh, this is what you need for uh, replacing this particular capacitor. Um, I've been told I also needed to get uh, low ESR capacitors for a computer monitor. I'm not exactly sure why I needed low ESR, that's just what people were saying. So I just uh, trusted the experts' opinions on this. So that's what I bought. Uh, so yeah, so that's one of them. You just do the exact same thing for all the other ones and you're gonna have all your capacitors on soldered in uh, maybe an hour maybe even less than that maybe half an hour if you're pretty good and uh, you gotta remember the polarity on them there's a negative and a positive side to them uh, like this one here just like a big gray bar with minus signs on top of it and uh, that's the negative side obviously on your board is going to be indicated uh, like on this board here there's like a, a thicker white line that's where the negative is supposed to go and uh, the same thing on the other side there's a symbol there's a flat line which is positive and there's a curved line which is negative so you gotta remember that it's pretty important and so that's garbage so i'm gonna do all the other ones and uh hopefully that's gonna fix it all right so next video i'm gonna show you how to solder a brand new capacitor on the board and then uh, we'll go from there hopefully that will fix everything all right see you next video